first things first, as soon as you get to your peg, maybe get your box set up, get all, get all your gear out. But before you start preparing all your rigs, your terminal tackle, your rods and reels, make sure you get your ground bait mixed. And there's a good reason for that. Regardless of whether you've, you're mixing up for a method feeder or a conventional open-ended feeder or you're going to ball in by hand, you're going to need time for the mix to absorb all the water to get the perfect consistency. So let's get it mixed up first and foremost. So, depending on how much ground bait you're planning to mix up, you could need a robust 18 litre bucket such as this or a small shallow bowl. What is important, whatever you use, it has to be round. And the reason for that is if you use a square bowl, for instance, a lot of the dry ingredients can actually get stuck into the corners and you can't distribute the water evenly and that's going to make your mix inconsistent. So if you're casting out a method feeder, for instance, your bait could be breaking off and falling off the feeder as it's sinking and we all know you don't want that. Or your ball could be breaking up mid-flight as you're throwing it in. So always mix up in a round bowl. If you're mixing up a small amount, for instance, for a method feeder, small fabric bowl such as the Competition Pro one I have here, it's perfect. Now if you are mixing up a bigger quantity, for instance here I've got two kilos of Sonu Bates maggot fish meal, that's going to be better mixed in a nice big round solid ground bait bucket such as this. So if you are mixing up a big quantity of ground bait, i.e. two kilos or more, you've got your big bucket, we know about that. One real addition is going to be the ground bait whisk. Just makes the process really easy, really smooth, and it ensures that you get the water distributed evenly throughout all of the mix. Dead, dead easy to use. You need a good quality cordless drill. We've got here the Preston Innovations whisk. It's eight spokes, so there's enough room to actually distribute the ground bait through. Crucially, it's got a flat bottom, so it can get right into the edges of the bucket and as we crucially said, distribute the water throughout the mix. So I'll show you exactly what we need to do. Pop it in the drill like so. Empty the contents into the bucket. Now that's a lot of ground bait, so it's a perfect opportunity to use the whisk. Add some water, a little bit at a time, and you can afford to put quite a bit in to start with, because it is going to absorb some, as we said. But then we'll just add a little bit more as we whisk, till we achieve the right consistency. Nice steady hand into the mix, slowly finger on the trigger, and just start to blend. It doesn't take long, best thing to do is just check it, give it a few whisks. <coughs> and you're just looking for that consistency. Now, as we said, it is going to take on water. So it's a little bit dry still, so we're going to add a little bit more water, give it another blast with a whisk. So here we go. Same again. Now we're getting close. I mean, that there is almost the perfect consistency if you're going to put on a method feeder or just making a ball to feed with a pot. Now that's took literally less than a minute for two kilos of ground bait. The next thing that's really important is to give your bait time to settle and to absorb the water. We said at the start, so maybe not set all your terminal tackle up, get your ground bait mix first. The reason for that is this is going to absorb water, any ground bait will do so. So now we've mixed up, as we've just done, two kilos with the whisk. I'm going to go away, set my rigs up, sort all my terminal tackle out and give this maybe 30 minutes, maybe even 40 minutes. And you'll notice the consistency change and it will begin to dry out a little bit. But because it's already absorbed a lot of water, just need to give it a little bit extra just to bring it up to the perfect consistency. 
and ultimately it will get you more bites because you'll be fishing with the correct bait that you know is mixed correctly and a bit of confidence knowing that you've got the right bait in your peg is going to certainly lead to more fish in your net. So give it half an hour, sort your stuff out and you'll have the perfect mix. So we're almost there. Now some anglers when they mix up using the whisk don't riddle the ground bait. For me personally I think it's still essential. The whisk does to a certain degree eradicate the need to riddle because it will distribute the water evenly as we've said and get rid of most of the lumps from your mix. So it, as it is there because we've left it now for 30-40 minutes it's pretty much perfect but for me just pop it through the riddle it takes less than a minute and then you know you're fishing with a perfect bait. So let's just scoop some ground bait up, pop it on the riddle over a shallow bowl, just shake it through gently, through into the shallow bowl. Now although we have whisked it, you can see there are still a few little lumps there, but you can just pass them through, just push them through, no problem at all. Nice and easy. And then what that does give you, the finished product, absolutely perfect ground bait. Hopefully now, ready to bag up.